Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use manual focusing to obtain 100% tech sharp photos in any situation so that you don't have to worry about your camera's autofocus system being accurate or not. Hi, my name is Miklos Mayer and I'm a photo tour guide in Budapest, Hungary and in this video I will cover the following topics. What is manual focusing? When you should use manual focusing? The number one mistake that people make when using manual focus and how you should properly do manual focusing. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So what is manual focusing? Manual focusing is simply when you turn the autofocus off either on the lens or in the camera's menu and then you just focus by rotating the focus ring on your lens. And when should you use manual focusing? Well, in any case where you want to be 100% sure that your subject is sharp and is in focus. For example, at night or when you are doing product photography or macro photography, manual focus is the way to go. So is manual focusing this easy? You just have to rotate the focus ring with your fingers? Well, yes and no. And here comes the how not to do it part. This is a mistake I see people make all the time. If you have a DSLR like I have, I have the Canon 6D, you cannot manually focus by looking into the viewfinder. So you can't do this. You can't judge if it's in focus or not. And why is that? It's because the prism inside the camera's body that projects the image from here to the viewfinder is constructed in a way that it shows you of a far wider depth of field than the actual photo uh, will have. So take a look at this. This is what I see in the viewfinder and this is the actual photo that I get from this focus setting. You can see that the view in the viewfinder has a lot wider depth of field, lots of other stuff is in focus while in reality depth of field is very narrow. So the bottom line is that you cannot manually focus by looking through the optical viewfinder of your DSLR. So if I ever see you doing this, I will... Okay, I'm just kidding, I will not do this. So here's how you should properly manually focus. First, I'm going to show it on my DSLR and then I'm going to show it on my small Sony RX100. On a DSLR, first switch the lens into manual focus mode. Then activate the live view mode. This is the mode where you see on the screen what the sensor actually sees. The next step is that you magnify into the live view by pressing the magnify button and then locating the subject. In this case, I wanted to focus on the numbers. Now with the magnifying view it's so much easier to fine-tune the focus. And when I see that my subject is in focus I just simply take this shot. And then because I want to make sure that my subject was indeed in focus I preview the photo and magnify into it all the way I can and I check the focus. This looks alright. By the way this is my super wide angle 14 millimeter Samyang slash Rokinon lens. Focusing on the mirrorless camera depending on which model you use. So first in the menu or on the lens switch to manual focus. The mirrorless cameras are always in live view mode so you don't have to activate this mode. But what you need to activate is the focus assist feature in the menu. This way the camera will automatically magnify into the live view and you will be able to accurately focus once you start rotating the focus ring. Let's see another example, a night photo with my Canon 6D under the starry sky. In this case, there is nothing in the foreground I could properly set the focus on. So I switch off the autofocus and go for manual focusing. I also turn my camera into manual mode and set the approximate settings I will use. High ISO, few seconds of exposure and f2.8 is a good start. And then I activate the live view and it looks almost completely black. But as I magnify into it, I'm able to find the stars. 
In this case, I pointed the camera to the constellation Taurus, so here's the Pleiades. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I will set the focus on these stars. I'm simply rotating the focus ring to find optimal sharpness. It's not easy to judge, but when I think it looks best, I take a test shot. It's on a self timer and now it's taking the exposure. When that's over, I always preview the shot and magnify into it so I can determine if it's sharp or not. I will show you the actual photo as well. This is the whole frame and if I zoom it into 100%, this is what I get. This looks pretty good. This is also called the Seven Sisters and the name of one of the stars will sound familiar to Harry Potter fans. This star is called Merope. Basically that's all I could say about manual focusing. This is the technique I use all the time to take photos of the starry sky like the Milky Way or cities or of the lunar eclipse. So let's quickly summarize the manual focusing method again. First switch to manual focus on the lens or in the menu, then activate live view, then simply magnify into live view, pick your subject, set your focus on that and check focus after exposure. So those are the six steps of manual focusing and this is all I could teach about this subject. If you like this video make sure to subscribe below or here and also you can hit the, hit the notification bell so you will not miss any of my new content. Also you can go over to my website I will be your photoguide.com where you can find lots of practicable in-depth photography tutorials. See you soon.